Nebraska passed a law, a state law recently on April 13th banning late-term abortions. Would you be in favor of passing such a law in the state of Tennessee? Yes, sir. Yeah. Uh, yes. And, I mean, the truth is, if, if we are not, I come from Chattanooga. Let me tell you one of the reasons why Chattanooga is a very blessed city today, why we have so much new economic development. we're really an anointed city there are no abortion clinics in Chattanooga we we made we made a decision we we made a decision a long time ago that we were going to work as a community to not allow abortion clinics to stand in our city and I got to tell you we're trying to be after God's own heart. I mean, it's hard to say that. Lincoln said, we don't claim to have God on our side, but we strive to be on his. And that's the deal here. Is people who seek righteousness and the right thing are blessed and anointed. Our city has been. Our state will be blessed as we remove this scourge and plague of killing innocent children in the womb. Yes, I believe life begins at conception. I believe the verse that says, before I formed you in the womb, I knew you, uh, says just what that means. I also believe that life begins at conception. We need a defender for our unborn children. Um, most of the candidates are always going to say they're pro-life in Tennessee, as they've always said they're pro-life. But I'm a different kind of pro-life because I'm actually going to work to allow Tennesseans to vote on that issue because I believe that's what the government should do is represent the people and serve the people. Uh, Tennesseans are overwhelmingly in favor of pro-life, and so we're going to allow a referendum in Tennessee and let the Tennesseans vote on that and stand up. I believe we have that right based, again, on the Tenth Amendment because abortion is not mentioned in the Constitution. That means the state supreme. I mean, the state supreme court is the final arbiter, not the federal supreme court in Roe v. Wade. So when I say I'm pro-life, I'm actually going to do something about it. Thank you very much. I mentioned earlier there was two simple questions that I can answer quickly. Life does begin at conception. No question. It's my faith. It's my belief. And to think about if if. A pregnant woman is killed by a drunk driver. How many counts are they going to have against the guy that committed that? To me, that there's that's right, there's two. And I think there is case law that, that says the government will support that, that life does begin at conception.
that does it, then somebody else needs to take up and take that over. Thank you. I think the question was, would I vote for a law that would ban partial birth abortion in the state of Tennessee? Yes, and I have, and it's on the books. We passed a law in the state of Tennessee that banned partial birth abortion here in the state of Tennessee, and it has been held as, a, as constitutional. Now, Ron Ramsey admitted he voted against banning partial birth abortion and for higher sales taxes. And there's more. Ron Ramsey admits he rode on a drug company's jet with their lobbyist so Ramsey could help them land a 10 care contract worth 16 million. Now Ramsey's campaign is bankrolled by these drug interests who profited from high prescription drug prices. Let's go past that. We found out there's 120 that the governor was trying to sneak $1.2 million into the budget to fund Planned Parenthood clinics in Memphis and, and down in uh, Nashville. I found that out last year. I took it out of the budget. Now Planned Parenthood gets not one penny of your taxpayer dollars in the state of Tennessee. And when he became Lieutenant Governor, Ron Ramsey helped strip Planned Parenthood of state funding that had been in place since the 1970s. And I led the charge on that. We're talking about changing our constitution. It's hard to do this in a minute, but we had a very liberal Supreme Court that ruled that we have more protection for abortion in Tennessee than even the federal Supreme on the federal law. So Five times now under my leadership, we've passed what's been called Senate Joint Resolution 127, a, a, a constitutional amendment that will go in our Constitution, allow you to, to, to have a say on abortion here in the state of Tennessee. It's passed the state Senate five times. It has now passed the House once. Hopefully, with God's blessing, on 2014, you'll get to vote on this. Thank you. Well, one reason why we have liberal Supreme Court justices is that governors have appointed liberal Supreme Court justices. Um, you know, the word abort, and I'm going to be parsing Roe versus Wade's words just a bit, means to stop. You know, a woman does have a right to stop a pregnancy, but if in that process that she has taken another person's life or that doctor has taken another person's life, that person has committed murder, those laws are already on the books I believe that it is perfectly within the capability of an executive to start prosecuting uh, murderers from the minute they that the executive steps into office without any changes to laws. Whatsoever. I applaud the uh, House and the Senate's uh, attempts to amend the Constitution. I will not interfere in that. But uh, if I get in here, I'm going to be going after these people day one. I'm not going to wait for a law to pass. I support extending natural rights under the Constitution of the United States to the unborn.